is Luis Centenaro with Mailshake, and today I'm going to be covering how to A-B test your subject line. Until you have above a 70% open rate, you should absolutely continue A-B testing subject lines. And then after you get above a 70% open rate, then you can start testing different copy within your actual emails and follow-up emails, but stick to subject lines until you can really start seeing some success there. And it's the easiest way to move the needle when you're A-B testing email. So you're in Mailshake, you created your campaign, you uploaded your clean list, you're, you know, you're targeting the right emails. Now you don't know what to send as a subject line. So take a look over at one of her blog posts, 15 surprising email subject line A-B tests you need to know. Really interesting things here, written by Sujin the founder of the company. So go through this post. I guarantee you'll come up with some unique ideas and, and see what these A-B tests resulted in. And you, know, you can see 11% more opens on subject line A. And that little boost, I mean, it's a big boost, but that boost itself could generate hundreds of thousands of revenues depending on who you're emailing. So it's super simple to start A-B testing these subject lines. I like testing short subject lines, subject lines that ask questions, subject lines that are personalized, let's say, you know, with the company name or something along those lines. Fallback text to this, if you don't have that merge tag for the entire, entire list, you can still personalize. Do you like to move it, move it? first name. So to do that AB test, you would just copy from segment A. So now we have our copy, copy for days. We have our copy, copy for days, and it replicated this subject line up here. And now we can test something such as, did you dance last night? Do you like to move it first name? Did you dance last night? So now, you know, we're testing pretty different subject lines. We can see what will work best here. And once we receive those results, you know, depending on how many emails you send, you might not reach a statistical significance on this, but you can still get great directional data. If you're sending out 500, 1,000 emails, you will be able to see statistical significance on different open rates. So plug it into your favorite statistical significance calculator, this Google um, email open rate calculator, something along those lines, and see those results there. Statistical significance calculator. So you can use Neil Patel's here, and just let's say after you close out of everything, and just say you know you you emailed a thousand people, you emailed a thousand people. One had an open rate of 150. The other one had an open rate. Or 150 people opened at 15 percent. The other one had a only only 100 people opened at 10 percent. You can see test A is 50 percent better than B with 100 percent certainty. So those are real valid statistical numbers that you, know, you should base your decisions off of. So A-B test your subject lines. And once you find that ideal subject line, then you can start A-B testing your copy with all the different copy structures that are out there. This is Luis from Mailshake. Happy emailing.